A suspended Loudoun County, Virginia public school teacher will be returning to the classroom. A judge issuing an injunction reinstating phys ed teacher Tanner Cross. He was put on administrative leave after saying at a school board meeting that he would not refer to transgender students by their chosen names or pronouns, believing that it's against his religion. Tanner joins us now along with his attorney, Tyson Langhofer. Tanner, uh, you've got at least a temporary victory in court while you fight this battle on the merits. Your reaction to what the judge said, and we should point out that the judge said that the Loudoun County School Board has to immediately reinstate you and give you your job until at least December 31st of this year. Uh, uh, thanks for having us on, John. We're, we're so happy. Uh, there's lots of tears, lots of hugs. Um, we're just happy that we, we were reinstated, and I look forward to going back to serving Leesburg Elementary. All right, Tyson, you said that suspending Tanner was a dangerous road to go down for the school board. Why? Well, it absolutely is, because no teacher should be punished for simply advocating for the good of their students. So every teacher should be cheering this decision because school boards have no right to punish teachers simply for speaking at a public forum um, on, on a policy that's being considered to the, by the board. Right. And the policy considered by the board would be to address transgender students by their chosen pronouns. Uh, this is what you said about it at that Loudoun County School Board meeting, Tanner. Let's roll the tape here. I love all of my students, but I will never lie to them regardless of the consequences. I'm a teacher, but I serve God first. And I will not affirm that a biological boy can be a girl and vice versa, because it's against my religion. It's lying to a child. It's abuse to a child. And it's sinning against our God. You said that I will not affirm that a biological boy could be a girl and vice versa. There is science to suggest that gender identity can change as a result of several influencing factors in early childhood. Do, do you not accept that science? Um, no, John, I don't accept that. And um, we, we just were so happy about the results that the judge made. And we're just really looking forward to getting me back in the classroom, doing what I do best. And that's making kids healthier and, and having fun. And I guess, Tyson, at the uh, bottom line here is it's not what Tanner believes or doesn't believe. It's his right to express what he does or doesn't believe. Well, that's absolutely right, John. The, the, the reason this was so extreme was that the public, the school board punished Tanner simply for speaking at a public meeting in his private capacity. And even he went to work the next day and there were no problems, yet they still suspended him. That's unconstitutional and that shouldn't happen. But there were a number of emails that were received by the school board from parents who said that they didn't want you, Tanner, teaching their child. What do you say to those parents? Uh, the, there's a slogan at our school, um, and, and we actually, it's a family, and sometimes families disagree, but we still love each other. And I just look going forward, and, and there's not a lot that I can control um, what students are in my class, but I'm going to serve every student at Leesburg Elementary to the best of my potential. You know, I mentioned at the top of this, Tyson, that you're going to continue to fight this battle on the merits. Judge James Plowman, in uh, issuing his temporary injunction, wrote that you are likely to prevail on the merits. He said, quote, the comments made by the plaintiff have in their very core proclamations of faith and how he is to apply them to his life. The weight of the evidence supports a determination that the plaintiff is likely to prevail on the merits. Do you believe that Tanner will be able to keep his job even after this temporary injunction expires? Absolutely we do. We think the law is clear and we think the facts are clear. The school board rushed to judgment. They punished Tanner simply for because a few parents disagreed with Tanner's views. Um, and that's not how it should be. Schools are very diverse and we should be able to live together and have our diverse views. And teachers shouldn't get, be punished simply for sharing those views in a public forum. One, one quick question to you, Tanner. Maybe you can give me a quick answer. This is just a proposal at the moment, but if this becomes policy, you will constantly find yourselves at odds with school board policy. Can you effectively serve your students as a teacher if you are always at odds with official policy? Oh, I, absolutely. I, I, would, I will call any child uh, by their desired name. I just can't say things that are untrue. All right. Tanner Cross, Tyson Langhofer, thanks for joining us today on this important day. We'll continue to follow this case. Appreciate your time. Thanks, sir. Thanks for having us on, John. We appreciate it. All right. Good to see you. We'll see you back again, I'm sure, because this is going to be, continue to be fought out, Sandra, in court. And it's really over a right to free speech. It's a right to be able to voice your views, not what you think. He says he's standing up for students as well. Speak their mind freely. He encourages them. It's, it's good to see him excited to get back in the classroom. We hope he can get back to work soon.